Since the course has started and the activities designed to develop soft skills have been tested, it's normal to wonder if they are effective and fit the niche purposes. How to identify what worked and what didn't? When can we say that the whole process of integration of active learning methods is working effectively? First of all, we need to verify if the experience has been effective, so if students achieve the intended learning outcomes defined at the beginning. The assessment tasks performed along the course offer such information, showing the evolution in the mastery of the soft skills of interest. In fact, if I declared through the intended learning outcomes, the will in supporting the development of a teamwork skills attending my course, I have to analyze the results of formative assessments and feedback shared with students to see if, at the end of the course, their teamwork performances are actually improved. Nevertheless, such information is not sufficient to offer a complete and objective evaluation of the course redesign process as a whole and to identify what worked and what didn't. Think, for example, about the effort and time spent by your students in preparing and conducting the activity proposed, or about the perceived quality of the experience. The definition of criteria, like the two just mentioned, should be done from the early beginning, while designing the experience as they influence the monitoring process. Data to be collected, tools to be used, when to collect them, etc. The collection of this data will be useful to formalize and refine the method applied if it is meant to be reused in the same way in the following reiterations or during the next year, or if it needs some more adjustments. Some aspects are worth an investigation, in particular, evaluating the effort required by the teacher or the team of teachers and the one required by students. Investigating the perceived quality of the teaching and learning experience on students' side and on teachers' side to identify the activities, roles and dynamics which felt more comfortable for both of them. Such data analysis can be conducted both during the course and at the end. We can divide the data analysis in quantitative terms which includes, for example, the results of the final examination, and in qualitative terms, looking at students' perceived effectiveness. When working with soft skills, the second kind represents the most effective and feasible way to evaluate the experience. Talking in qualitative terms, we'd like to focus on three kinds of data collection. The observation of dynamics of the performance, questionnaires, focus group. The first element refers to the observation of the performance during which the soft skill is practiced. If you remember, when we talked about soft skills assessment, we put in evidence the fact that it needs to be repeated more than once along the course in order to track the evolution of skill mastery level. Aligning monitoring activity with assessment sessions, the teacher can strictly monitor the just-in-time effectiveness of activity proposed and promptly intervene with some adjustments in case difficulties emerge. Also, the response coming from the students needs to be tracked. Is the participation forced or are students truly engaged? Are the various phases of the activities clear? Is there any downtime that could be filled? Together with the observation, especially small classes, it's helpful to plan some informal chances for students to share their thoughts. Perhaps they might be at the end of the lesson or activity through, for example, the one-minute paper in which students are asked to indicate one thing they like and one they would like went differently. More structured and accurate data can be collected through questionnaires that require a minimum effort on the student's side. They represent an easy and effective way to collect feedback from students, in particular with large classes. 
After a request for feedback, it is useful to take stock of what has emerged, communicate the new methods that have been implemented, or reiterating the decisions made at the beginning of the course and taking the opportunity to rework the classroom agreement and focus once more on the meaning of the experimentation. Questionnaires should be proposed at the end of each active learning session to investigate its effectiveness in terms of soft skills and or on problems found in order to adjust the organizational or communication aspects before the next session. A questionnaire at the end of the course is useful to allow students to reflect on the whole experience. For all or most of the elements we decide to investigate, it might be interesting to give students the possibility to provide details through open questions in case they wanted to further develop certain topics. If it makes sense in terms of feasibility, time, effort and value, focus groups with students can be organized to deepen any critical point that emerges from the questionnaire or the assessment throughout the course. A quantitative analysis has a minor role in evaluating active learning experience focused on soft skills because, as we said, what is meant is the observation of the performance more than the result of the final exam. Nevertheless, the quality of the output assessed through summative assessment can, in some cases, represent also the quality of soft skills performance. For example, the evaluation of team working as a competence while developing a project work or a complex output along the entire course. In such cases, the final result of the exam can also offer the teacher a feedback on how the collaboration among team members has taken place. This is particularly true in project-based or problem-based courses, where the specific active learning methodology is going to be repeated very often during the learning path. Finally, it can be useful to devote some time to an individual final review or a meeting between the teachers involved in the program to go through the elements highlighted the quantitative and qualitative analysis, integrating them in further experimentations. In this way, it is easier to identify areas of sustainability, developing a higher awareness of the dynamics that have been activated, and formalize the suggested model. To conclude, how can we understand when the course design developing soft skills is successful? We need to investigate the quality of the learning experience, both from the perspective of the student and from the one of the teacher. Obviously, also in relation to the intended learning outcomes identified by teachers at the beginning of the program and connected to the innovative activities. The monitoring plan must start at the beginning of the course and continue throughout its entirety and beyond. Mm -hmm.